So I'm on a journey right now. A journey to be the best. What pro wrestling should really be. What this next generation pro wrestling should be. We can't be stuck in the past anymore. This old wrestling style, nobody likes it. Every time I step in the ring, I make a memory. You will always remember what I do in the ring. People want to see what I am bringing, what the Bullet Club is bringing, what the elite is bringing. New Japan, New Japan, number one, number one. New Japan, New Japan, New Japan. Omega, Omega, Omega. is to be the talk of New Japan US G1 Special. And now introducing his opponent, making his way to the ring, he is the leader of the Bullet Club, the cleaner, Kenny Omega! I will be the star. I will be the focus, I will make history. アメリカのお客様が期待している通りリング上でこのベルトを思い切り放り投げたいと思います。そしてロサンゼルスのゴミ箱にこのベルトを捨てて日本へ帰りたいなと思います。我々ロスインゴベルナブレスデハポンを応
practically was made for me. Whether you like to admit it or not, this entire production, this entire show, is my show. Whether you like to admit it or not, whether you like to say that it is true or not, this show will be the Kenny Omega Show on night one and night two. And thank you, cast. Thank you, characters, for playing a very important role in my ascension to being the very first IWGP US champion. Goodbye and good afternoon. <laughs> Tomorrow is a huge day for many reasons, of course, but it's funny, Kenny, see, tomorrow is July 1st, and we have two Canadians on Canada Day, yeah. wrestling for New Japan Pro Wrestling, That's weird. competing for the United States Championship. <laughs> and as exciting as that is, Kenny, there's something that you said is absolutely correct. It's my show. This is... The Kenny Omega Show. <laughs> Since January, it's made me sick to only hear about Kenny Omega. Six stars! Six stars. Has it made you sick or has it made you six stars? <laughs> That's pretty good, to be honest. I got nothing for it. But, but tomorrow, Kenny, that changes. Because I have sat back and I have listened to everybody talk about Kenny Omega and rightfully so. The matches you had with Okada are some of the best matches I've ever seen. Yeah. Some of the best matches these people have ever seen. Yeah. Kenny, you're used to making history. As a matter of fact, you and me made history last year in New Japan's first ever ladder match. Yeah. And Kenny, I beat you there. And Kenny, tomorrow, this show will no longer be the Kenny Omega Show because I am going to make it the Big Mike Show. Give it up for our eight competitors in this historic IWGP United States Championship Tournament. New Japan G1 Special is finally making its debut in the U.S. tomorrow. Yeah. How does it make you feel about it? Oh, I feel like I've waited an eternity. My whole goddamn life I've been waiting for this opportunity. I've always wanted to become a legend in Japan. That was always my goal, always my dream. And now, I can take that dream, I can take that legend, come back to my home in North America, to all the people that have supported me, never forgot about me, believed in me when no one else would, and own the show that is New Japan. Show them why I'm the best main event New Japan Pro Wrestling in America. What does it mean to me? It means everything. What's your plan to make that belt uh, outstanding and making something more special to other IWGP belts? So what happens when you build a new belt in New Japan? Well, generally speaking, if we're going to let history dictate what happens, uh, the belt sucks. 
How do you make a new belt not suck in New Japan? That is the ultimate question. That's the caramel secret. I'll tell you how. First of all, you run a tournament. Mm -hmm. And you put some of the best damn guys in the tournament. In fact, you put the best guy in the tournament. That's me, by the way. Then that guy goes on to win the tournament. Are you following along now? He wins the tournament, and then as the champion, he chooses his opponents. Hand picks every challenger from all corners of the globe. Yes, New Japan has some great wrestlers. They really do. But here's the problem. I've beaten almost all of them. So, do I just sit and accept that every challenge is going to be a cakewalk? That I'm going to steamroll through everyone? Is that what's exciting? No, it's not. People don't want to see that. They want to see a fight. They want to see a battle of heart and a battle of soul. And that's exactly what I want to give them. Unfortunately, that means that all of my combatants, all of the challengers, aren't going to be in New Japan. So I'm going to search the globe. Ooh, I'm going to search far and wide. And I'm going to start finding the best wrestlers on this planet. Some you may know, some you may not know. And I will give everyone the most exciting matches on the card, which I guess is just natural now. And by doing that, if you go back to your question, and by doing that, I'm going to make the US title strong. I'm going to make the U.S. title mean something. I'm going to make it mean more than the Intercontinental Championship. You might also have an idea to make this U.S. belt something bigger than IWGP heavyweight belt. Uh, yeah. I fucking have it, okay? Look, I have all the faith in the world that I can make this belt into something that no one could make any belt in New Japan. I've said it before, and I just said it. Like two seconds ago, I just said it. I said that defending against the same old guys. I mean, first time, second time, it get, it's exciting. I can understand that. But it's not until you travel the globe. It's not until you face who is truly the best in the world that you make a belt mean something. Yes, the IWGP heavyweight title has history. Like 45 or 50 years of it, right? It goes way back, older than me, crazy. But <sighs> it's my goal to make that belt mean just as much. It may be difficult, but I'm gosh darn gonna try to do it and make no mistake about it. <laughs> I haven't forgot about the IWGP heavyweight title. Yes, that's right, I can do two things at once. I can multitask. I can rub my belly and pat my head. I can do whatever I put my mind to. So Okada, or Cody, or whoever the hell, once I win the US title, yes, I will make that belt legendary. But I will also still keep my eye firmly the IWGP heavyweight title. I need to beat you, Okada. After this tournament, we go straight into the G1. Okada, I have you again. Now think of this, if you will. Let's say you're holding that belt, Okada. Let's say you're still IWGP heavyweight champion. Let's say I'm the US champion. Let's say one versus one in the G1, I win. What belt means more? It raises a lot of questions, doesn't it? Oh, yes, that's the master plan. And it all starts very, very soon.